Hey dudes, it's Emily and today I'm here with another book haul because I've got I've gotten a lot of books in the last few weeks that uh, I got after the last book haul I made. This is my little book stack. These are all the books I'm going to show you. The first two books I got sent by Penguin Random House. I have An Arc of Approval Junkie by Faith Sally. She is a stand-up comedian and this is her little collection of essays about being someone who cares too much. It says adventures and caring too much. She agrees to too many things. Uh, I think this will be really funny and interesting. And I also have Mother Can You Not by Kate Siegel. She's the creator of the Instagram um, at Crazy Jewish Mom. So this girl Kate made this Instagram account just screenshots of conversations she has with her mother and things that her mom says and they're really funny. So this is a collection of essays that Kate Siegel wrote about her relationship with her mom and living with her mom. Um, I think it's really funny. I read the introduction and I love everything about this already. Um, this next book is a rebuy or a second buy, which doesn't really make sense because I have the book but I haven't read it yet, so I got another copy of it. <laughs> and it is Everything is Illuminated by Jonathan, Jonathan Safran Four. I always cannot say those syllables together for some reason. This is a Harper Perennial Olive Edition, limited edition, and I've seen these before. They're very simple, um, and they have these super you can't, you can't see this. It's really pretty spines, and it's nice and tiny, compact, and I saw it at a used bookstore, and what? It was six dollars, and I have read Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, and I loved it. It was amazing, one of my favorite books of last year. So I bought Everything is Illuminated right after I read that last year. I haven't read Everything is Illuminated yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll love it, so I just wanted the pretty edition of it. I feel like that's not good. It's not like I'm adding to my TBR, though. It's just two books of the same book that I haven't read. So, no harm done. Except for those six dollars I lost on a book I haven't read yet and I don't know if I like. But it's pretty. Next one is another book I bought for myself. Okay, so here's what happened. If you followed me on Instagram in the last few weeks, I was on spring break. And I went on a little road trip with my family. And when I like to go to different cities, I like to find as many independent bookstores as possible. I like to see the different ways bookstores are set up, how they can look, how they can smell and look and just feel, and I just love independent bookstores. And I can't go to an indie bookstore without buying something. I have to buy at least one thing. I just feel like it's my duty for ordering so many books off of Amazon all these years. I feel like I just... I gotta do it. So the next book I have to show you from an indie store that I bought. This one I bought in... Was I in Washington, D.C.? Washington, D.C. Oh god, where was I? Yeah, I, <laughs> yes, I was in Washington DC when I got this, and this is There But For The by Ali Smith. This sounds so interesting. I read a collection of short stories by Ali Smith, so now I'm going to work more into her novels as well. And this is about a group of people coming together for a dinner party, and one guy that everyone kind of knows but no one knows super well, he goes upstairs to the second floor and he locks himself in the bathroom and won't leave. So then it just kind of follows that, how no one really knows this guy that well, but he's just, he's doing this strange thing and it jumps around in perspective. Here, okay, this is going to explain the book better than how I can because it's on the back of the book. Miles, who is the guy who locks himself in the bathroom, communicates only by cryptic notes slipped under the door. We see him through the eyes of four people who barely know him, ranging from a precocious child to a confused elderly woman. And that's the part that really got me that's going to change around in perspective to show the situation in the eyes of different people and they're all going to be very different people, have very different perspectives. And I'm really excited because I liked her work in her short stories and the way she wrote. So I'm really excited to read a full-length novel of hers. I feel like the longer I talk, the less good I am at talking. You know what else I feel like that? I'm just like... Like at the beginning of the day, I can talk well. Because I have words left. But then as the day goes on, I'm just like... Bleh, bleh. We'll see if that gets in the video. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some lot of editing. Oh my god. Oh, this next book is really heavy. I've heard a lot about this book from Jen from Jen Campbell, which I'll link her YouTube channel below because I love her channel and the recommendations she gives, especially as I'm moving into reading more than just YA. She doesn't read a lot of YA at all, and um, that's where I heard of this book from. And I was at that same used bookstore I got Everything is Illuminated from, and that store I got these two books in Baltimore. And this is... The Crimson Petal and the White by Michelle Faber. I believe this is, this is about a 19-year-old prostitute in Victorian London who yearns to escape her brothel for a better life. Um, I think that just sounds amazing. But also, I read the first page and that just like... 
totally hooked me in. I'm just gonna like read you the first paragraph because the style of this is written in is amazing and I'm just so excited to read this even though it's huge. I'm so excited. Hang on. <clears throat> Watch your step. Keep your wits about you. You will need them. This city I'm bringing you to is vast and intricate and you've not been here before. You may imagine from other stories you've read that you know it well, but those stories flatter you, welcoming you as a friend, treating you as if you belonged. The truth is, you are an alien from another time and place altogether. And it keeps saying you're walking through an alley and the rain is hitting your face and blah 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 and it just sounds so cool and I love, I just love, I just love, I just love that. I love that so much so I bought it. It's, it's huge. I have no idea when I'm going to be able to read this, probably this summer, but still. I'm really excited for this. Jen like raves about this book. It's one of her favorite books. So I'm really, really excited to read this one. All, all of them, but like especially this one. The next one I got sent to by Saga Press, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster. I got this in the mail yesterday. And this is Roses and Rot by Cat Howard. It's blurred by Neil Gaiman saying Cat Howard is a remarkable young writer, which is a very nice thing for him to say, especially since he's Neil Gaiman. This is about a girl named Im Imogen or Imogen? Imogene. I don't, so many people say that name differently. I don't know how to say it. I say Emojin, like Emojin Heap, or is it Imogen Heap? I don't know. Anyway, it's a girl named Emojin, and she's grown up with a mother who is not great, and she escapes, and then she has to go back to get her mother. I don't know if it is a fairy tale, uh, fantasy type, uh, maybe magical realism, or if it just has a lot to do with fairy tales because she grew up with fairy tales. I'm not entirely sure, but Neil Gaiman liked it, so that's cool. And this comes out in May. I have another arc here sent to me from, I think also Simon Schuster, I'm pretty sure. Um, Atria Paperbacks, yeah, Simon Schuster. And it is It Gets Worse, a collection of essays by Shane Dawson, the giant mega YouTuber. I don't actually watch his videos all the time. He's really funny though. And I know he had another essay collection called I Hate My Selfie, and this one's called It Gets Worse. So obviously these are very uplifting, very happy. Um, feel good essays, lots of sarcasm, I don't know. I read the introduction and an essay already, and I really like them. So if you love Shane Dawson, uh, get this. This comes out, um, July 19th. Let's hope that 7 means July. This comes out July 19th. So you have a long wait, but, um, yeah, be excited. Get excited, not be excited. Get excited. Another arc that I got sent in the mail, this is from Howard Books is an imprint of Simon Schuster. Simon Schuster, thank you so much for sending all these books recently. Very kind of you. Um, this is Broken Ground by Karen Halverson Shrek, which I definitely giggled about when I first read that her last name was Shrek. But the blurb says, when a young oil rig widow escapes her grief in the Texas Dust Bowl, she discovers a surprising future and a new passion awaiting for her in California in this lyrically written romance by the author of Sing For Me. I don't know, never heard of Sing For Me. But it sounds interesting, a woman's um, husband dies and then she decides to move from Texas to California. It's in the Depression era. Uh, it sounds pretty interesting. This book comes out uh, May 3rd. Another book that was sent to me from Keywords Press. Again, I believe this is probably also Simon & Schuster. This is Dream House by Marzia. Biznigan. Biz I'm thinking to say it's Bizonin. Bizonin. I think the G is silent, which I don't like that at all, but I think it's silent. Um, she is known as Cutie Pie Marzia here on YouTube. Never heard of her before. Very large following. Um, she's friends with PewDiePie? Or is she dating PewDiePie? Or is PewDiePie her husband? I don't know. I can't tell. There's just a lot of pictures of them together on the internet. She has now published a novel, if you are a fan of hers, Cutie Pie Marzia. I believe this is about a girl who moves into a haunted house. Sounds very cool if you like haunted house books and YouTubers. Do, 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 do. This book I bought. Yay! I bought this myself. Um, I bought this when I was in Washington, D.C. Yes, I did. I bought this in Washington, D.C. And it is The Walls Around Us by Nova Rensuma. I've seen this cover all over the place and mostly I just wanted to buy it because the cover is really pretty. Also, I haven't read a young adult book since the summer. And it's been a really nice break. Um, I've been able to find other genres I'm really into. I've been reading a lot of more graphic novels and memoirs and short story collections and some general fiction and 
middle grade as well. I've just gotten to explore other genres and groupings of books and different types of books that I didn't read when I was so focused only on YA. But now that I've had the break, I do kind of want to get back into reading more YA books before because I do love YA. So I picked up, wow, well, a lot of words. I picked up The Walls Around Us by No Renzuma. This is, seems very interesting. What is my hair doing? Let's get down from there. The back says, we're just going to read a lot of backs of these because I'm bad at explaining things. Ori's dead because of what happened out behind the theater and the tunnel made out of trees. She's dead because she got sent to that place upstate, locked up with those monsters. She got sent there because of me. Doo -doo -doo. So this has to do with girls in a dance school who dance, but then also girls in a like mental institution. I read the first two pages. I really, really like the writing style. I like how it sounds. It's very... It's very different than just like a plain straight narrative. But yeah, this one I'm really excited about. So as I was collecting these books, I realized I have one other book that is not in this deck that I bought. I bought uh, More Happy Than Dot by Adam Silvera. I bought that one at a small independent store in Frederick, Maryland. Just pretend like that's on this pile of books. So thanks for watching this haul. Sorry I had another haul so close to the other one. Um, I'd like to have more exciting content, but you know, sometimes you just get too many books and you gotta show them off. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've read any of these. Um, let me know if there's one I should get to sooner than later. Let me know if you're excited for any of these arcs. I had a, quite a few of those. Literally all I had to say left was goodbye and my card was full. So I had to go through and delete all the stuff on my card while holding these books. That was so inconvenient because this is all I had to say. Okay guys, um, I'll see you next time. That's all I had to say. That's all I had left. My card was full. Lord almighty. Okay, well I guess I already said it, so... Anyway, I don't remember what I said before. Lost my train of thought because it got full. But, um, thanks for watching in case I didn't see that before. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Wait, you never want to see the books in the hall before you watch the hall. That's cute.